Hey guys, what's happening? Hope you're doing well. Thanks for watching and all that stuff. I really appreciate it. And uh, I'm in Seattle and uh, this is my second vlog from Seattle and that's going to be it. But uh, I'm out shooting and I picked up a new lens recently and it's this one. I don't know how well you can see that, but it's a uh, it's another prime lens. I really got a thing going with these prime lenses. Um, but it's a 24 millimeter f 2.8. It's a Rokinon, which um, I did a vlog a while back about a 35 millimeter 2.8 that was a Samyang and the uh, Rokinon and Samyang I believe are essentially the same thing I don't know why there's two different brand names but there are I believe they are the same but anyway this is the 24 millimeter equivalent to that lens so this is basically my second trip with this lens I did a, uh, a trip to San Francisco a month or so ago and I didn't do any vlogging there I didn't really have time but I did uh, this 24 millimeter f 2.8 and I got a lot of photos with it uh, and then today here in Seattle, or this evening really, I've been out shooting for a little while with it as well, and I'm really loving the lens. So I thought I'd share some images from these two trips, talk about why I like the lens and why I'm enjoying it so much. Okay, and just to clarify, I don't want to go so far as to call this a lens review. I'm not really a hardware lens reviewer kind of person. Um, I do some light reviews I've done on my blog. I may do some light kind of reviews, kind of like this one, uh, but... I'm not a technical reviewer. I don't get into the, the bits and bytes and the technical bits of it. So I just wanted to clarify that up front. This is not a lens review per se. When I uh, review something, I generally talk about the features I like about it, share some specs that are important to me, uh, which is not super technical because I, I, don't, I don't care, to be honest. There's a few things that I want or need in a product and that's what I talk about and the rest of the techie stuff that some people get, get into and I can understand why um, I don't get into so I don't go into that kind of depth so I just wanted to clarify that up front. So the first thing that matters to me about this lens is the size right it's small which means it's uh, easy to carry all day if you're shooting a lot um, it's light so it's easy to travel with uh, because it's small and light it's also uh, discreet while I'm not the kind of street photographer to walk up and really shoot in front of somebody's face and try to you know, pull the camera out and catch them in action kind of thing. Not my thing, as I talked about in my street photography video, but um, you know, I like that it's small and light and discreet. So if I'm walking around and I am capturing uh, you know, moments or, or whatever, um, it's not some big flashy lens. Um, that's for two reasons. Number one, I don't want to scare people away by pulling out some big zoom lens. And also number two, um, it doesn't look like a big expensive lens. And so if you're walking around in a city with a, you know, a 70 to 200 or something, some of these lenses, they just look like they cost a couple thousand dollars and they do. And um, this lens is nowhere near that. This was uh, 250 bucks or something. So again, small, light, inexpensive, those kind of things I think are important. And that's one of the uh, things I really like about it. The second thing I like about this lens is that it's 24 millimeters. And so my, my angle of view or my, uh, my field of view is pretty wide. I like that quite a bit, especially with cityscapes, because um, it just allows me to capture a lot. And I generally like that in my cityscape photography. I like to shoot the kind of wider scenes to capture a lot, whether it's a building or a street scene. I don't know. There's something about a lot of those elements uh, that I like having in a photo. So being able to shoot it 24 millimeters wide uh, is important to me. And uh, that's one of the reasons I got this lens. One other thing that I think is going to be really cool, although I haven't done it yet, and that is I think this lens can double as kind of a landscape lens for me. Um, I do have the Sony 16-35, to which is what I consider my wide-angle lens. 16 is pretty wide, uh, especially on full frame, but uh, 24 is not really that bad. It's, it's fairly wide, and um, I've got a, a trip coming up in August where um, I'll probably be taking some landscape photographs. I don't think I'm going to bring my wide angle, that 16-35. to It's fairly big. Um, and I, I don't really shoot that wide very often and so I'm thinking that this 24 is going to allow me to capture uh, pretty wide open and because it's 2.8 if I happen to be around in lower light I'll be able to, to do that as well. Um, so I'm looking forward to trying it out as an uh, alternative, if you will, uh, for a landscape lens which is going to be a, a lot of fun. Plus I'm excited about the trip. I'm going to be over in England and Wales for about uh, 10 days. So. That's going to be awesome. So the next thing I like about this lens, and, and you probably uh, have heard that many times already because I keep repeating that, repeating it, and that is that it's 2.8. So I can shoot really wide open um, in low light, which is wonderful for me because um, one of my favorite things to do is wander around in a city in lower light, which would be sunrise or sunset, uh, really blue hour would be uh, more appropriate, or even nighttime, and uh, shoot handheld. I don't really like carrying the tripod a lot. Um, I have a tripod. I haven't really been traveling with it people loud over there um, I hope you can hear me um, 
but um, I love the 2.8 because in lower light I can still um, you know get pretty nice shots at night in low light handheld and so I'll often like tuck my elbows into my sides or lean against something to help stabilize myself a little bit further but other than that it's just bump up the ISO and shoot wide open at 2.8 and it, it just kind of sucks in the light so it's, it's a beautiful thing and uh, another reason I love the lens. So that's really it. I hope you enjoyed the photographs. I hope they give you an idea of the kind of things that you can do with a, uh, a lens like this. Um, and yeah, I didn't mention it comes in this little case. So if you look at this, I mean, it's just tiny. That's how much space it takes up. So when you factor in the things like the size, the weight, the, the small amount of space that it takes up, uh, the, the, the fairly low cost, the wide angle view at 24 millimeters, and the wide open view at f2.8, uh, it's it's uh, I don't want to call it perfect, but it's a it's a fabulous lens for what I do a lot of the time, which is mostly cityscape photography with the option for landscapes. And so, um, I think it's time to go shoot. It's about 9 p.m. here, and that's one thing about summer is uh, like sunsets so late, which gives you time to get places, but it just means it's really late getting to bed. And I'm a morning person, so I can't ever sleep. So um, I'm gonna get a few more shots as blue hour hits, and then. I'm out of here. And so um, that's it, my friends. Hope you enjoyed the, uh, the photographs and the little conversation. Thanks for watching and tuning in, and I'll see you real soon. So have a great one. Take care, and adios.